The difficulty in representing a full orchestra on the piano is that I have to have the sound of the orchestra in my head and almost improvise it as I'm playing along. Sometimes I'll, I'll write uh, what instruments are in the school, sometimes I won't, sometimes I'll just remember how it sounds. The real challenge is not to give all your energy the entire time because I've been playing this for six weeks now, every day and I would just be exhausted and I'd have all sorts of problems. I have problems anyway. It's, it's uh, knowing when to give and when to, to, to take up, like, like the singers actually, you just need to learn your stamina. No recital would last as long as this. No. <laughs> this would be mad, wouldn't it? Yeah. say so you're having a laugh. Yeah. And I'm also having to conduct the singers. So, you know, all of this business up here. One of the things, I mean, obviously, is that the piano is a kind of percussive instrument, so you haven't got that sustaining thing that you, the, the strings yeah, have. You? That that's must be particularly difficult. tricky, isn't it? It's the very beginning of the piece which is just eight string instruments, very, very sustained. That's just, that's just a piano technique that I learned when I was studying piano. Go on, show us. Yeah. <laughs> the the opening is so, uh, it's so lovely. It is beautiful. Um, it's very good practice of not doing it with pedal, actually. The sustain pedal on the piano, which as, as pianists we, we splash everywhere, it doesn't lend itself well to creating an orchestral sounds because they, they can sustain but they won't repeat notes or they won't sustain notes over so you, you get a clash so you have to be very, very careful with how you're playing. It feels to me like you're even more important than a conductor would be in a, in a conventional production. Um, I've got more jobs to do, okay. certainly. <laughs> And when we're going through rehearsals, I, I also have to write notes and remember things to tell the singers. There's a lot of places where the singers are unaccompanied and they wouldn't necessarily be conducted through. But here, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm doing very little conducting and I just need to keep reminding them not to take it too slowly, not to be too indulgent, because that will have an effect on the entire piece. From where you are, you can hear the balance with the singers in yourself well enough to be able to... I have to do a lot of trusting that I know how it's sounding. You know, even if something sounds very loud to me or very quiet, I've got to trust that, oh no, I've, I've heard it sound like that before and actually when you stand at the back it does sound okay. It's just trusting the acoustic. I mean, this acoustic is fairly dry. Um, but I think with people in it will get brighter. It's just, yeah. A lot of it ego and instinct, actually. Well, good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much.